In this video, we're going over how to mirror your Moto One 5G Ace to your TV. Welcome back to another video. I'm your tech guide, Wayne. And in our video today, I'm gonna to show you how to mirror your Motorola phone to your TV. And I'm gonna show you two methods to do it. So one method is gonna be just mirroring a video. You wanna watch a video that's on your phone. You want to send it to your TV so you can see it on your big screen. That's the first method I'm gonna show you. And the second method, I'm gonna show you how to mirror your phone or your entire screen to the TV. So if you're playing a game, for example, you can show the whole gameplay on the TV, or let's say you have pictures from a trip and you wanna show the album to someone, you could send them to your TV and basically everything you're doing on the phone is gonna show up on your TV. So let's go ahead and jump right in. First, I just wanna go over what you will need to make this work. I'm gonna show you two processes and uh, to make this work, you will need um, home Wi-Fi. That's the first thing. And the second thing you'll need is a HD TV with an HDMI connection. Uh, third, you will need a Google Chromecast. Um, and again, I'll show a few different methods. So one method I'm gonna show will work if you just have a smart TV, but if you'd like to do everything in the video, primarily you will need a Google Chromecast. So watch along in the video and I'll make sure to make a distinction in the sections of the video where you might need a different device, but if you have a Google Chromecast, that will allow you to do everything I show in the video. I will also have links below in the description where you can purchase a Chromecast if you don't have one. So those are the requirements of what you will need. The next thing is on your TV, obviously once your Chromecast is, is set up, you will need to switch the input on your TV to the one your Chromecast is plugged into. Um, so you can see what I have on the screen here. Now I'm gonna slide the phone over here so you can see exactly what I'm seeing. This is the, the TV that we're gonna be mirroring the phone to, and this is the Google Chromecast screen. Now next on your phone, you will need to swipe down from the top of the screen here, and you're gonna need to turn on your Wi-Fi and make sure your phone is connected to your Wi-Fi network um, because a lot of this is gonna work well, basically, every, all of this is gonna work through Wi-Fi, so you will need to be connected to Wi-Fi. Okay, the next thing we'll need to do is go to the Google Play Store, and we will need to do a search for the Google Home app, and we're going to install this app on the phone. So while that installs, I'm gonna swipe up, and I'm gonna demonstrate the first step. The Google Home app we're gonna be using for the second uh, process I'm gonna show you in the video. So. For the first process, I'm gonna show you how to just watch a YouTube video on your TV. So I'm gonna to go to the YouTube app, I'm gonna open it up, and I'm gonna find a video to play. So I already have a video queued up right here on YouTube, and at the top of the video, you'll notice there's this little icon right up here. This is your cast icon, and this is what's gonna allow you to uh, basically connect your phone with the TV so you can see the video on the TV. So the cool thing here is um, my Chromecast is showing up, Chromecast 6871, that's my Chromecast. So I can tap on that and my video will begin to play on the TV. Now, if you have a smart TV, it'll also show up in this list. So I have a Samsung M5 smart monitor. And so if I tap on there, guess what? it's gonna allow me to play the video to my smart TV. So if you have a smart TV, this first step or first process will also work. Um, I'm gonna be demonstrating just primarily using the Chromecast, but again, if you see your smart TV here, it means that you're gold and you can just use that to send your video to the TV. For the Chromecast, I'm gonna tap on Chromecast 6871. Give it a second and you should see YouTube is gonna pop up on the TV. And now that video is gonna start playing. There we go, it's playing right now. And you can use your volume up and down buttons to control the volume of your TV. That's one of the cool things about this. You can also tap remote and you can use, a, uh, use this to basically navigate through the video. And you also have a voice search right there. 
So if you just wanna play a video from your phone to the TV, you wanna show a friend a cool um, video you're watching on YouTube, this is great. One of the reasons why I love this method is I can have the video playing on the TV and I can also go back to the home screen and I can do other things like open up a text message, I can go to Google Chrome and I can search the web. I can basically use my phone like normal while that video is playing and that's the best part. And the second method I'm gonna show you it takes over the entire screen. So whatever you're showing on the screen shows up on the TV. So that's why I like to highlight that specific feature. If you swipe down from the top of the screen, you will have a little pop-up that'll show you what is playing on the TV and it'll allow you to control the video that's playing. So I can pause the video from here. You'll notice once I tap that, the video is gonna stop playing. And um, you do have a back and a forward button here. And if you swipe down with Oh, swipe down with two fingers. Um, I now have a X here. I also have the, the jog wheel so I can rewind the video. I can fast forward the video. And if you're finished watching it all together, hit the X to stop the video from playing on your TV. So that's the first method, which is again, just playing a video from your phone to the TV. This will also work with apps like Netflix, Hulu, um, whenever you uh, tap on the video to play it, you should see that cast icon that will allow you to send the video to the TV and have it play on the TV from your phone. Now in the second method, um, we're gonna be mirroring the entire screen. So everything that happens on the screen is gonna show up on the TV. So let me show you how this works. So we're gonna go to that um, Google Home app that we just downloaded. If you go back to the Play Store, You'll see it's here, it's downloaded. I'm gonna hit open. And you'll need to follow a couple of instructions just for the setup. So I'm just gonna hit get started, select the account, press okay. You will need to turn on your location access. You can just do only this time. And now it's gonna take you to this screen. And if you swipe up, you're gonna see, this is my Chromecast, Chromecast 6871. I'm gonna tap on it and then tap cast my screen. And then I'm gonna tap cast screen again, start now. And then now you'll see my phone is being sent to the TV. And now everything I do on the phone is going to show up on the TV. If I decide I wanna to go to um, my calendar, guess what, it's gonna show up on the TV. If I decide I wanna rotate the screen sideways so I can see more on the screen, you'll have this little button, this rotate button down here that you'll need to tap to rotate it. But now I can see my whole calendar on the TV. Obviously nothing on there. So if it's an app that normally rotates, you know, it can, you know, rotate. Um, and it'll basically rotate the phone so you can see it in the landscape position on the TV. And then again, I don't have any games on my phone, unfortunately, but if you had a game, you can show your gameplay on the TV. And again, another good example is if you were to take a trip and you wanted to, you know, show the pictures, you know, onto the TV, you can literally just, you know, uh, set it up to cast. It's gonna be on the TV and then you can go through all the pictures that you've taken. So this is a cool method. The only downside is that um, it does show everything that's on your phone. So for example, like you can't text someone while you have your screen mirrored to the TV because it, it's gonna show up on the TV. So the, the first method is better if you're just trying to show a video, but if you're trying to show other things, then this is the method I recommend. If you wanna stop your phone from um, mirroring to the TV, swipe down and you should see an option here. So in this case, it's all the way down here. So I'll need to, it says casting screen. I'm gonna tap on the arrow right here. And then there's a button disconnect and that will stop it from casting my screen to the TV. So this is the process on how to mirror your screen to the TV. Um, I like to be thorough, like to show two different options because I know different people want to do different things. One important thing I do want to point out is that um, unfortunately this phone does not support direct cable to the TV. So you can't buy um, 
a cable that, that plugs the phone directly into the TV. That's a, there's a, a, a chip and technology that the phone needs to have and they only put that on high-end phones. So unfortunately, that feature is not available. So the Chromecast is the best option in order to cast, basically see everything on your phone on the TV. So I hope you guys found this helpful. Make sure you like, favorite, and share if it was helpful. Hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos. Take care and as always, have a good one.